Everyone on the South Bend page, how are we doing today? Peter here. I thought I'd take a couple minutes and um, share with you my digital readout setup. The machine's old, but uh, 14 and a half, I think I said 14 and a half inch uh, South Bend. Anyway, um, doesn't mean you can't uh, step into the modern era. So what I did was um, I had taken off my uh, taper attachment a long time ago for several reasons. One, it was in the way quite a bit sometimes. And uh, it just, I never used it. 35 years, I just never used it. So um, anyway, this is how I mounted the scale on the cross slide. The cover, uh, um, aluminum cover I made here uh, was to keep the junk off the the lead screw and that bracket I made up and then this is the um, how it mounts. One of the things to consider when you put these on is obviously being able to have access to the machine to use it. Uh, so part of the reason that it's spaced back like it is is so that you have access to this uh, set screw so you can turn your compound. And uh, if you took this and you put it up right here, you know, close, it would obviously be in the way. I didn't want to put it on the front, I say the front, the side on the, the chuck side, because chances of it getting smashed over there by something in the chuck is pretty good. So this worked out pretty well. Uh, then in the, uh, uh, for the carriage, show you that mount <clears throat> forget the camera shake I'm working one-handed here <laughs> anyway um, this is the uh, mounting on the the carriage um, one bolt with um, a small spacer on each end and then I went into the um, plate that adjusts the the ways on the uh, the carriage uh, the saddle, whichever you want to call it, and then mounted, as you can see, this is the way it's mounted, two screws into that plate, and the bracketry that came with the uh, um, the kit, and I got it from AliExpress for 200 bucks. And a couple of things that you want to know is add 40 millimeters to whatever length you need to get the right length glass scales and um, you should be in business that's how they measure them so uh, if you're not a hundred percent sure I can tell you this error on the side of length if you have to that's what I did I just I just for this lathe I have a thousand millimeter scale on the rear for the the carriage travel on the bed and then the cross is 10 inches um, travel. Had a small problem. I say a small problem. I ran into an oversight on my part. Uh, if you look right here, pardon my fingers. Um, this right here, I went into the steady or the uh, follow rest bracket holes and put that plate in there with countersunk screws half inch I don't know if you can catch a glimpse of them here or not uh, there's the head of one right there so I had the option of either going on this side of the screw or this side of the screw and I ended up limiting my travel this way and seldom do you you know cut cross the the spindle center line so I you know, I decided the lesser of the two evils was to do that. Oops, sorry for the finger. Anyway, um, that's it. So, um, and just an FYI, if you are doing this, uh, the other end is, you know, obviously that bracket's really adjustable and no spacers needed. And then this end, I decided to make this block. And if you look close at it, you'll notice it has a slight angle because this um, cross slide is cast there's a slight draft to it, it meaning that it, it, it's angled 
like this just a little bit. That ends up being about 10 thousandths, give or take a little bit. I locked out. I kind of guessed at it and hit it pretty good. The one thing you want to remember, um, follow the uh, follow the mounting of this sender, the reader, and leave there's a red piece that goes inside there um, that aligns it. Let me see if I have one here someplace. I thought I did. Uh, yep, yeah, right here. This thing. When these these come, oops. When they come, they come stuck in there in between the scale and the reader. And you can kind of use it for alignment purposes. Follow that. And, um, you know, this, this doesn't have to be dead square, uh, you know, whether it's a little this way or a little that way, um, just as so long as it runs straight. Uh, and, the, you know, the reader head is able to follow it with a minimal amount of deflection. It's all good. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope everyone is ready for the holidays. Can't believe the year went by as fast as it did. Hope you and your families are all healthy and happy. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.